So if you are a frequent consumer or just a nice connoisseur, you appreciate good quality cannabinoids in your oils, you're going to want to hear this information if you do not already know it. This right here is 750 milligrams of blueberry pie flavored CBD oil, right? This one, uh, I forget, it's not, I want to say it's about 500, uh, as you can see there quite different in sizes this is a little bit taller because i have the the magnetized protector on it but this is girl scout cookies line of thc hybrid oil straight from the plant <clears throat> girl scout cookies is a group of farmers in cali and they make a very well known but girl scout cookies is in my opinion one of the best i've had and it'll it'll definitely take you to another planet Method one for extraction for oils, wax, rods, and things like that. There is solvent-based extraction, which the you need to take your herb and basically and heat it up with the solvent, and you need to cook off that solvent and other chemical compounds that are non-desirable because you want to get just you know your you want it to be all pure CBD or THC, whatever the case may be, but you just want your main your main squeeze chemical compounds you don't want the extras some oils can have solvent material left over and that is mucho no bueno but we're going to get into that momentarily how you can detect that and avoid that situation <clears throat> now the other method is co2 extraction then they have two forms of that so with co2 extraction there is supercritical and subcritical supercritical uses a higher heat and higher pressure when squeezing out the, um, the oil, the rosin. Now, with a supercritical CO2 extraction, yes, you do get a lot more out of it. You get more product. You can even get more, more um, omegas, some other chemical compounds. But with that high pressure and high heat, literally, this is what's happening. There's a top and a bottom, and they're just they're slowly coming down until they meet your just little patch that's very tightly sealed with your flowers in it. And they'll this very slowly or aggressively squeezing it until it's just flat like paper. And all of the rosin is just gonna catch on your parchment or whatever, to just kinda, you know, keep that all contained. And with that high heat from the supercritical CO2 extraction, it can actually, oh, I don't want to just say this, it may, there's a possibility that it can damage the terpenes that are, that's in your bud, in your flowers, and that's, that's what you're doing with the terpenes, is what makes you feel, makes you feel good, it makes you feel alive, that's, that's the things that, that's what you want, that's the gold, right? Now, there's also subcritical CO2 extraction, and with that, it's low pressure, low heat. Now, you will not get as much product, but you, what you do get will be the most potent and will contain more terpenes than a supercritical CO2 extraction. Not to just say subcritical is better, but you have your options. If you want more or if you want like just more, more potency, you know, it's really your own preference. When you are shopping for different oils and you see these different arrays of colors, right? This is what you're looking at. So you can get oils in three different colors. There's raw, there's decarboxylated, and there is filtered. This one here, the CBD oil, look very closely. See how it's very clear, it's gold. This is considered to be a filtered oil, which is the gold standard, meaning that the oil is, in most cases, it has been decarboxylated and undergone further processing. Filter oils get the most processing. Um, it is filtered out for phytochemicals and all plant materials. And it results in this, this beautiful color. Um, it is often considered to be the gold standard, uh, highest in quality, in most cases the most expensive. Um, that's not 100% in every situation. But again, it's, you know, you try different things you see. The THC oil, right? See how dark it is? The color, this has been decarboxylated, meaning that it will just have a lot more activity in the body than the raw and the filtered, right? So, 
when this is heated up in your pen, it's gonna be like an immediate switch. It's just gonna activate the chemical compounds in your THC or CBD, or whatever your preference is, and that will just allow the oil to to give its benefits to the body a lot easier. It's gonna give you that impact much, much easier. The decarboxylation makes the efficacy and potency just a lot better um, to actually, you know, work well with you. It's gonna gel in your body, you're gonna get the effects of whatever your strain preferences are um, a lot better. And our last choice is raw. Raw means that the oil has just been heated out. That's it. It has undergone no further processing past that point. The raw oil has not had any other processing or filtration. Um, in most cases, it will contain phytochemicals, um, chlorophyll, raw plant materials, and it can also have just other impurities that you may not want. Um, I would not. I can't say what I recommend it because I haven't myself experienced a raw oil. Um, it'll be often just very, very green, very dark green in color. And again, personal preference, if you have had raw green, you know, let me know what it was like for you. I'd love to hear about that. If you have any questions about oils and things like that, or any things I would really dig to know, let me know. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. You remind me of my beamer. A lot of trunks makes the perfect two-seater.